Ladies and gentlemen, VSN 3B Group 4B welcomes you to the presentation of our research entitled Through Dual Lenses, the Filipino Student Nurse's Journey in International and Local Psychiatric Exposure. On behalf of our entire crew with Champo, Tubal, Vasquez, Zaragoza, and Zulaivar, I welcome you aboard. Transcultural nursing is becoming increasingly important in today's globalized healthcare system. As nurses, it is universally recognized that each patient who comes into our care has their own unique needs and preferences. It is the way patients are cared for that can define their overall response to treatment. While the existing literature provides valuable insights on the topic, there are limited studies on experiences of student nurses during clinical exposures in a land that is culturally and linguistically different from their own home country. As these student nurses embarked on their psychiatric exposures, whether at home or away from home, the lenses through which they view mental health care may have evolved in ways that they only know. From a singular lens that many are accustomed to, these nurses have evolved. That is exactly what we will look into in this study, the dual lenses of nursing care. This study aimed to explore the first set experiences faced by student nurses during their psychiatric nursing exposure in international and local settings. This study employed a qualitative research design using a phenomenological approach to explore the lived experiences of student nurses during their psychiatric nursing exposure. In-depth interviews in private discussion rooms were conducted to collect data that lasted about 45 minutes to an hour. Participants of the study were planned level 3 nursing students of school year 2023-2024 who had both international and local psychiatric exposure. They were all chosen using purposive sampling technique. This study used a semi-structured interview guide evaluated by the guidance counselor of the university. The interview guide was divided into three parts. The first part consisted of the social demographic profile of the participants. Second part includes the central question, can you share your experiences as a student nurse during your psychiatric exposure in the international and local setting? Followed by six probing questions in the third part of the instrument. Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts as we go to the results and discussion of this study, starting with the demographic profile of our participants. Majority of our participants are female, with the rest being male. Their age ranges from 21 to 22 years old. Starting our journey with theme 1, now boarding cultural approaches in international and local settings. In international settings, it was noted that comprehensive government support and cultural acceptance of people with mental illness promote well-rounded, patient-focused psychiatric care. The delivery of care is considered to be ideal with a selection of therapies available for patients regardless of their condition. Looking at the local setting, it was noted that stigma, limited resources, and systemic deficiencies complicate care delivery. Yet, this has also instilled in them the importance of resilience and resourcefulness. Despite these challenges, Filipino student nurses observed that the resilience, creativity, and cultural ties of local healthcare providers facilitated significant patient interactions and flexible therapeutic approaches. Please present your boarding pass as we go to theme 2, the ticket to connection, communication as a core component in psychiatric nursing. In international contexts, language barriers hindered care. Yet, students maintain therapeutic interaction mainly through a translator and nonverbal communication. While a few of the participants had basic knowledge of the Chinese language, they did not perceive it as a significant advantage in interacting with their clients, especially compared to those who had no prior knowledge. Thus, when it comes to overcoming language challenges, basic knowledge of the language may help the students start conversations, but sustaining it may prove to be difficult. Meanwhile, in the local context, a common language facilitated easier communication, yet students still encounter challenges in sustaining discussions because of personality variations and a lack of experience with psychiatric patients. Please fasten your seatbelts as we may experience some turbulence in Theme 3, Flying Unfamiliar Paths, Cultural Competence in Psychiatric Nursing. Both situations highlighted the essential importance of cultural awareness and flexibility, developing the ability to modify their communication, actions, and care approaches to honor and match patients' unique values and beliefs and norms. 
flight crew to landing stations as we go to the last team, the final approach, crafting the future of nursing. Participants highlighted how they gained independence, critical thinking, and emotional strengths, abilities required to cope with adverse environment. The experiences of these student nurses also allowed them to learn new ways to see themselves and the people around them. After all, being exposed to places outside your comfort zone allows you to challenge your own perceived notions and learn more about the world. With that, allow us to present the culmination of our research to our simulacrum. The main focus of this symbol is the brain, a feature both iconic and recurrent in psychiatric nursing. But what really makes this simulacrum unique is the dual lenses of our study captured with the glasses on top. The rose-colored lens portrays student perceptions of international exposure, the setting providing an ideal setup but the expense of providing a sterile and mechanical care system. But another pair of lenses that the students can wear represents the more realistic but less idealized experience of the local setting. Though challenged by limited resources and systemic gaps, these environments offered authentic human connection and opportunities for adaptive, culturally sensitive care. And as these student nurses end their psychiatric nursing exposure, they have arrived at a higher order of thinking and patient-centered care. One that not only focuses on clinical procedures, but on developing their care to be adaptive to the needs of their patients at all times, wherever in the world their service will be rendered. After all, the nursing profession is a global one, a profession that is shared, loved, and continuously improved for all patients, may it be in the present or in the future. For our recommendations, first to the nursing administrators, promote and expand both international and local psychiatric exposures. Integrate transcultural nursing concepts into the curriculum and consider implementing language and cultural training to better prepare students for global healthcare practice. Second, to the clinical instructors, provide strong guidance and ensure the briefing for students undergoing psychiatric nursing exposure. Third, to the nursing students, develop cultural competence and actively seek opportunities to learn beyond their local environments. And for the future researchers, explore the long-term effects of perceived advantages of culturally congruent and international exposures on professional development, leadership capacity, and global advocacy roles of Filipino nurses. You may scan the QR code for our references. The journeys of these student nurses prove that nursing is truly more than a profession. It is a shared human connection shaped by values, traditions, and trust. As they carry these lessons forward, they do not just become better nurses. They become better storytellers of healing, weaving compassion and cultural understanding into every patient encounter wherever in the world they may serve in the future.